What's going on reef builders? Welcome to part two of our project to add some features and functionality to the brand new Reef Octopus 36 sump on the saltwater fish tank. In the previous video, we added a 13 gallon gravity fed auto top off reservoir here on the right. And you can't see it behind this chamber is the gravity fed float valve. So no power supply, no controller, no float switch, no pump, just gravity. Um, but for this one, we're gonna use what was designed as the automatic top off reservoir. And we're gonna turn that into an automatic waste collector. So there's actually very few skimmers on the market that we could do this with. There's very few manufacturers who've really kind of invested in smart features for the the pump that powers uh, their protein skimmer, but Reef Octopus is definitely one of the first. And they actually include this float switch right here. And it is actually designed to go in the cup. So there's a larger hole right here and then kind of a gasket to go right here. So when your skimmer gets full, the, the float switch will trip and it'll turn it off. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna basically transcribe that functionality from the cup over here to this much, much bigger chamber because by the time we're done adding things to this sump, I might never have to touch the skimmer again. Um, all right, but so the first thing I wanna do is I've actually never used this before. So the way it works is, I think, because <laughs> I've never done this before, there's one little port right there and I just wanna make sure that this works before we go drilling all the things. I do think they're supposed to, this is the float switch Tadis light. So when I turn this on, hey, there we go. It should turn the protein skimmer off. It did not for some reason. The light went on, but the protein skimmer did not go off. All right, so let's do a little research and we're gonna find out where that is. One eternity later. So because I have a Y chromosome, I'm uh, predisposed to not read the instructions. But I did notice that there's a little button right here called FS. So this is the float switch button that you need to turn on and off. I'm sure some of you old time Reef Octopus users are gonna be laughing at me. So now that that function is turned on, when we trip the float switch, the protein skimmer shuts off and uh, we're good to go. You know, one thing I didn't mention in my auto top off, uh, gravity fed auto top off video is that drilling your sump is probably the fast pass to uh, avoiding the warranty on your sump. So be aware that any modifications you make, like any other product, you're gonna be avoiding your warranty. Um, so we have this top hole drilled and for the handyman out there, I'm sorry, my hole saw was too big and my, uh, drill was too small so I had to walk it in here to get the hole just right but now it's just like so tight that I can just barely get it in there and uh, yeah so we have a place for our float switch and it's gonna be hiding right behind there so now it's time to drill the other two holes. It can't be overstated how much easier it is to make some of these preparations to a sump when it's not in operation, right? We had to take some special precautions not to throw the chips everywhere because the system is running and uh, double check, triple check both the size of your holes and your, you know, what you're drilling for. And also there's kind of a lip right here on top. So you can't assume that this top level is all that you have to work with. Make sure to put your fingers underneath and, uh, you know, figure out where you're at. Um, and 
you know, this is absolutely gonna void your warranty, but you know what, drill in some acrylic carefully um, with safety of equipment that I don't have right now <laughs> is very important. So this is, you know, this is like the mechanical easy part to do, but this is actually kind of like the more rewarding part is actually threading this float switch. And uh, you know what, hats off to Reef Octopus for building in some features that are actually quite simple to implement on any protein skimmer that has, you know, the right kind of controller. Yeah, we got that like that. I'm gonna go ahead and Turn everything on and make sure we're still working. On, float switch, on, skimmer's going. All right, so we got the skimmer going. I'm just gonna do one last check before I manage all the cables everywhere. We're going, we're going, we're going over here. And trip the float switch. And that's it. So, all right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and manage all the cables, kind of readjust the controller uh, placement, and uh, we'll come back at it on the other side. Part of the reason I wanted to do this automatic waste collector is from time to time, the fish tank is a little extra dirtier than it should be or needs to be, or there's a lot of funk kicked up. And I, what I like to do is set it to wet skim. This is when you kind of intentionally run your skimmer a little bit higher than normal to do what I call in effect an, uh, a concentrated water change. So what's cool about this is we're gonna set it to wet skim a little more aggressively than you normally would um, to test out both of our new functions. One is the automatic waste collector and the auto top off. So I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit until it's barely getting dry there at the top of the neck. We're gonna watch it and set it up on a little time lapse and um, just see how it goes. I have been thinking about doing this auto top off and especially the automatic waste collector as soon as I got this sump, but I can't tell you how satisfying it is to see how all of this came together. Um, just really, really rewarding pair of projects that we did today. Um, totally hid the float switch over here behind the center brace, so you won't see this unless you look for it. And like I said before, we, uh, before in the previous clip, we set the protein skimmer to wet skim. So what I ended up doing is uh, turning up the protein skimmer pump to 100% and dialing it down a little bit. Normally, like I've told you before a few times, I really enjoy running the skimmer at about 60%. So I have that room to do some wet skimming, but we just wanted to do a little bit of test um, of this mechanism right here. And you could see that the water did come out a little bit more yellow than the regular water. Um, so normally it's gonna be a lot dirtier than that. Not really pretty. And there's actually a little window right here that you can kind of see the water actually water level actually dropped. So we tested two things at once. The reason I aborted the, um, the time lapse, didn't let it get all the way to the top, but I just did it mechanically, is because we noticed that after we put it on kind of overdrive, it skimmed just like a, a steady trickle for a while and then just kind of quit. Um, so definitely uh, a topic I'd like to revisit uh, with you guys about uh, wet skimming. The last thing I wanna to bring to your attention is this is gonna get pretty nasty. I know you guys already mentioned this on some on the previous video when we built this sump. Um, this is gonna get really gross. So I'm gonna do a few things. One, I am gonna get a cutout here, like a little white cutout to put over this, leaving maybe like a little window similar to we have here on the ATO. Um, but a little bit more importantly, I drilled a third hole in this uh, automatic waste collector chamber now. And we're gonna figure out some kind of automatic way to put um, like a heavy duty peristaltic pump on a timer to come on, uh, I don't know, maybe for like an hour a day, just to kind of empty it, but have it pump that straight to the drain or drains on the other side of that wall. So 
uh, I don't ever really have to touch it. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for joining us on this video. This sump is about halfway through some of the uh, feature and function additions we want to add to it. It's coming out really, really, really fun. So I want to show you how I plan to empty the automatic waste collector that we uh, retrofitted here from the uh, Reef Octopus 36 sump. This is a new toy that Evan Kemmerman and uh, producer of the previous video uh, brought for me. What is this called? Uh, water transfer pump. Water transfer pump. So supposedly you can just kind of stick this down in here in any other kind of device. And it's even self-priming, is that correct? Just battery operated, so pretty handy little utility. Ah, not bad. So, you know, I, I don't mind doing this for now, but we're gonna, we're not gonna wait too long to install the automatic waste collector evacuator. I don't know, help me come up with a cool name. AWC, automatic waste collector, uh, emptier, evacuator. Let's see what you come up with. So, all right, catch you guys next one for real this time.